I would like to add my voice to the voices of all those who support the President-elect of the National Council of the Resistance of Iran, Mrs. Miriam Rajavi, and all the people who are working so hard for a free and democratic Iran. We know that the recent elections were not free and fair. We also know that the two main candidates have horrible histories of brutality to their own people. And we know that uh, Rouhani, in his first term of office, was implicated in nearly 3,000 deaths. And very tragically, even since the recent election on the 19th of May, 2017, there have been nearly 20 executions of people resisting the political regime. We know that this is just the tip of the iceberg of what is going on in the country, the brutality, the arrests, even of children, young children, boys and girls, arrested, kept in prison, and then executed when they are 18. And the, there is hope, there is a way forward. There are so now so many thousands and thousands of people, not only in Iran, but around the world, who know that this can be changed. And the opposition, the resistance in the recent elections was a sign to the regime that things are going to change, that they cannot carry on doing what they have done for so many years. And so I would like to very strongly support Mrs. Rajavi and all the people who are working for a free and democratic Iran. I, um, in England, ha have been very involved in working for women's rights, um, particularly for women to have equal opportunity in the Church of England. That's a very specialized thing but some of the principles are the same, is who gets to say who has the power to keep people in or keep people out. And I would like to say that when there is true democracy, true freedom, then people will have a voice. It will be safe to speak your voice. It will be safe to live the life you want to live. It will be safe to have political opinions and not be frightened that you may be killed and executed for having those opinions. And so I would like to encourage everyone who's going to be at the rally, everyone who would like to see a change in Iran, everyone would like to see the end of a reign of terror and brutality, of power being kept in the hands of those who do not deserve to hold it, and that people with humanitarian views, enlightened views, and views that will benefit all the people, not just a few, will be able to govern and serve the people of Iran. And I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity for adding my voice to the voices of so many others. And I know that many, many people from the UK, the US, and other countries in Europe and across the world will be attending the rally in Paris, and I wish them all well.